Political science professor Allison Dagnus said voting rights vary during midterm elections and can sometimes depend on who is currently the president. It's voting rights continue to kind of fluctuate. And so there are some midterm election years where voting rights are higher. Uh, and everybody anticipated that perhaps this would be one of those years. Because of President Trump, there is a heightened interest in American politics. People are following it more closely now than they have before. At the same time though, what we are increasingly seeing are a lot of Americans who are so overwhelmed by how much news and information there is, and they're so turned off by the anger and the partisanship and kind of the nasty language, the yelling, the really awful sort of screaming discourse. So that during a presidential election year, there's a lot of attention because American politics is focused on the President of the United States. There are 435 members of the House and 100 members of the Senate. That's a lot of people to keep, you know, track of. Well, young voters tend not to vote because nobody asks them for their vote. So I haven't seen anybody come around here on campus. When you don't vote, what you're doing is you're saying that half an hour of your time, it's just not worth a half an hour of your time to try and make a statement about what you believe in. Shippensburg University students participated in Democracy Day on November 5th to encourage students to come out on Election Day. Although a large number of Shippensburg University students took an interest in voting during the 2008 presidential election, the number of newly registered SU voters has gone down in recent years. Ship Votes advisor Catherine Clay described the services Ship Votes offers and her perspective on why students are not interested in voting. Um, well, Ship Votes is a nonpartisan voter education and voter registration organization at the university. In September, SHIP Votes registered about 100 students every week from August 24th to October 6th, which probably adds up to about 550 total. Um, that activity was focused on either registering new student voters or supporting previously registered voters in keeping their registrations current. I was really excited about the idea of um, keeping uh, democracy vibrant and, and um, drawing in and engaging students and, help, and giving them a voice, helping them see that, that what, how the way they engage with their community here um, and learning about issues and, and then going to the polls and making whatever they thought should happen happen was really an important part of, of their education. Politicians, uh, politicians and government officials, elected officials, listen to the retirees mm -hmm. because they vote. So if you want to strengthen your voice, if you want to flex your muscles as citizens, you need to get registered and vote. I would love to see you know, every first year student um, making sure that they were registered, if they could be registered, registered either at home or here. And the more they're registered here, I think then that would really put, emphasize and underline the notion of citizenship being something that we develop at at this university.